Hi everyone, in this video we'll demonstrate how to install and configure an EAP in your office or home. First, let's take a look at a typical network topology. The EAP receives data and power from a PoE switch. A computer is required for management and a router for internet access. Included in the EAP packaging are one EAP, one power adapter, three mounting kits and an installation guide. As an example, here are the steps for ceiling mounting. First, remove the ceiling tile. Next, place the mounting bracket at the centre of the tile. Mark four positions for the screw holes and one for the ethernet cable to feed through. Drill holes that are four millimetres in diameter for the screws and a 10 millimetre hole for the ethernet cable. Secure the mounting bracket to the ceiling tile using the screws, washers and wing nuts provided. Feed the ethernet cable through the hole and replace the ceiling tile. Connect the ethernet cable to the EAP's ethernet port. Finally, push the EAP until it locks into place. There are two ways to configure the EAPs once they're connected to your network via web interface or via EAP controller software. If you only have one or two EAPs, then the web interface should be suitable. The web interface only lets you configure and manage one EAP at a time. If you have a larger number of EAPs, however, then we recommend using the EAP controller software, since you can configure and manage multiple EAPs at the same time quickly and easily. To manage via the web interface method, which remember is only recommended if you have one or two EAPs, the first thing to do is connect a computer to the EAP's network wirelessly using the default SSID found on the product label. After you're done, launch a web browser and go to tplinkeap.net. Use admin for both the username and password to log in. Create a new username and password for better security. You can then begin to modify the wireless parameters. For example, you can set a new wireless password for the network. Or set up portal authentication to control access. You can monitor the whole network, view the status of individual EAPs, and configure system settings. To manage EAPs using the controller software instead, which is recommended if you have multiple EAPs, first connect a computer to the PoE switch in your network. Next, go to the TP-Link website and search for EAP controller. Download and install the software. Once that's installed, launch EAP controller and configure the basic settings. Select the devices you want to configure and click next. Choose an SSID and a password. You'll need these to connect clients to the wireless network. Once you've done that, configure the login details of the controller. Choose a username and password and enter an email address just in case you need to recover your account at some point in the future. On the next page, click Finish to confirm. You can check the number of connected access points at the top of the interface. Click the number to view the status of your EAPs and access more settings. These settings can then be applied to all EAPs at the same time, so there's no need to configure each one individually. For more detailed information about using the controller software, visit our TP-Link YouTube channel and search for the EAP controller configuration guide video. You can now enjoy wireless internet from your EAPs. Thanks for watching.